valuation and analysis of bonds with embedded option so first uh, point of discussion discussion is understanding fixed income securities with embedded option so what are the embedded bonds that we know as of now we know what is a callable bond we have also discussed several times at level 1 what would be a puttable bond is there anything else that we have discussed any bond with an embedded derivative yes we have also discussed a convertible bond so with an option to convert into equity shares so then what is a fixed income with embedded derivative embedded option represents a right that can be exercised by the issuer or by the bond holder or automatically depending on the course of the interest rate okay so the last part would make uh, more sense later on it is attached to or embedded in a underlying option free bond to which we typically call as a straight bond simple embedded option structure include call option put option and extension options what are these what are extension options the what could be an extension option not accept coupon and mm -hmm. okay you were right can, can you just uh, come back again on that one extending the maturity yes extending the maturity of the bond which means uh, the initial maturity promise is 2 years and at this stage you have a right to decide whether you want to extend it for additional let us say 1 year or additional 2 years so those are extension options are we fine with this and can i say bond holder the put option is with the bond holder extension option is with the bond holder call option is with the issuer so can i say extension option in a way is same as a put option will will that be right if i say it this way that extension option and put option in a way are exactly same options for example let us say there is a bond which has a maturity of 4 years or maybe let me keep it as 5 years however the option is puttable at the end of year 3 okay so if an investor wants he can give it back to the company at let's say at a par value which is let's say hypothetical 1000 second scenario there is a bond which has original maturity of 3 years and as an investor you have a choice of either getting those bonds redeemed at this price at a par of 1000 or you have a option of extending that maturity further up to a period of 5 years are you following this so which means technically the puttable bond which is here and extend the bond which can be extended both of these bonds are exactly same structure is it fine can you look at some difference yeah beyond a particular date yeah maturity date correct no 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 that depends on what type of option it is so if it is puttable only at year 3 then you can exercise only at year 3 or it's lapsed bonds will be valued at the original maturity the difference between the two is the underlying asset is different in case of first bond 
which is puttable the underlying asset is bond of how many years 5 years 5 years whereas second case in the first 3 years the underlying asset is a bond with maturity of 3 years which is later on extended to 5 years so except the underlying asset maturity or underlying asset a puttable bond and extension bond operate exactly in the same fashion have you understood this so write down this point maybe you can uh, just draw this and write down the point write down a sentence except underlying asset except underlying asset puttable bonds and bonds with extension option puttable bonds and bonds with extension option are exactly same any questions you want to ask hmm no then that's a convertible bond if after 3 years you are getting shares instead of a bond then that's not uh, one of these that we're discussing then that's a different category of options converge conversion option yes so that decision of whether you want to extend or you do not want to extend would depend on what is the rate of the interest in the market at this stage for example let us say this bond has coupon of 10% in both the cases now let us say the ytm at this stage is 6% okay in that case will the first option will the first bond holder exercise his put option coupon rate is 10% ytm is 6% will the first puttable bond holder will he exercise his put option no he will not because as of now he is earning 10 if he decides to put it back then he will get to an only 6% which means market value of this bond is definitely more than 1000 right now isn't it so he will not be happy to give it back in the same fashion this bond holder would like to extend it for further 2 years so which means even the decision making is exactly in the same fashion but if the ytm is let us say 15% then of course he would exercise put option and this bond holder will not extend is it fine should we go ahead hmm? callable and puttable bonds can be redeemed prior to maturity at the discretion of the issuer in the former case and bond holder in the latter case may i assume you understand this concept that in case of callable bond just just make this with me okay at the risk of stating obvious but just to make sure we don't miss on this point callable and puttable bond from an investor perspective a callable bond is actually a straight bond minus a call option a puttable bond is a straight bond plus a put option
a callable bond is a straight bond minus a call option puttable bond is a straight bond plus a put option which means in this case investor has a has a short position on the call option that means he has a obligation and in this case investor has a long position on put option are we good to go ahead extendable bond gives the bond holder right to keep the bond for a number of years after maturity puttable and extendable bonds are equivalent except for underlying asset complex embedded options now so the ones that we have been looking so looking at so far which is callable or puttable or extendable they are supposed to be simple ones okay complex one structure include other type of options or combination of options so one of the bond that they have put in this category is a convertible bond okay and we know a convertible bond is nothing but a straight bond plus or minus straight bond plus in a convertible bond you have a straight bond plus call option on call option on equity shares of that particular company isn't it so this is convertible bond one of those category just write down this convertible bond is equal to straight bond plus call option on equity that means you can decide whether you want to convert that to equity shares then at times there are bonds which are callable plus puttable both okay that means both at certain time period the issuer will have a choice at certain time period investor will have a choice at times there are also bonds or options which are called chooser bonds where you can decide after a certain time period whether you want that option you want it to work in a call fashion or you want it to work as a put okay so all these are the complex uh, category of options so the one that you need to know is one is convertible bond and the other one is callable plus puttable okay so just two that should be sufficient you don't have to write this part next one that you should write is a bond with estate put a bond with estate put and then just to remember this quickly write down or call it as a death put a bond with estate put write down death put have you understood what it means hmm might create a special why create a special class you, you would understand me once we explain but have you understood what what it is saying here yeah for example let us say uh, th there is a portfolio that uh, mr x own and uh, if he dies then that portfolio was built based on the requirement and needs of that particular gentleman mr x so when he's died maybe the people who are receiving that property they might want to put that money somewhere else and then they will have a right to give it back to the company at that particular par value so any time after he dies any time after he dies i mean that would again be put into the uh, indenture the agreement but yeah, generally after certain specified time so the person who is dying he can't accept that option of course not no. <laughs> So it's like this if you buy bonds of a really large value 
and suddenly yield increases and bond price decreases one way of recovering your losses <laughs> let's move on next one is sinking fund sinking fund of course is that it can be retired in a you generate those funds and then you can retire those bonds in a partial fashion so similar to callable bonds to some extent may i assume you know what is sinking fund hmm? yeah and the last part valuing and analyzing bonds with complex embedded option structure is challenging which means we have lot of fun coming in our way let's solve few mcqs <laughs> 